With the deceptive thumbnail and cliffhanger ending to the last video, it is now time to show you the new bike. <laughs> you can't see it. Oh, Tom got a flashlight here. Here it is. A 2020 Beta 300 Race Edition. Times two, because Tom got one as well. Wow, what? look at this Dude, these things, thing. These things ride really good. Like, I got all the levers and stuff on mine. Oh, the radiator fan. We got these from Gary over at Barnstormers Off-Road in Whitehall, New York. Gary has been so helpful, especially with selecting and sourcing all the aftermarket parts. That's usually a process that takes me a couple weeks reading reviews, seeing what fits. What a relief having it figured out up front. Secondly, Gary had Tyler Hayes at Mellow Designs come up with these incredible graphics kits for us. I mean, it speaks for itself. It's even got squids available at ZachAttack1.com. So the Beta 300 is going to be my hard enduro weapon for the 2020 season. The race edition comes equipped with the KYB front forks and a sax rear shock. I think this is going to be a great platform to really get dialed in without having to do any major aftermarket upgrades like converting air to spring forks or explore fork upgrades. <coughs> KTM. <coughs> you can put that money into a proper suspension revalve. And personally, and this is me being blunt, reviewing a bike with stock suspension is a complete waste of time. It's like buying a $3,000 guitar, doing a review on it without tuning it. Now that's me as more of a competitive rider standpoint. I don't care how the stock suspension is. I'm gonna change it anyway. Catastrophe, catastrophe. This, thing, this thing's fun. That's what happened. It's up to the suspender. It's the invasion of the bikes. Whoa, whoa. Did you do that? Wow, look at this bike. So Tom's on a beta two. He's already got the upgrades attached. And you, we can go over them here in a hot second. Yeah, let's do it. Can you shift them dirty like that usually? Yeah, dude. Italian Straight from Italy. Or, when you get on the pipe, you spew coronavirus out. So the people behind you, the, the competitors. Yeah. It's a pretty good looking bike, man. I have to say, it's pretty, it's pretty attractive looking. So we have uh, a 2020 Beta 300 Race Edition uh, sitting here. Take one. Should I get, get, <laughs> cut. Take two. <laughs> Pull yourself together, Tom. Pull yourself together. All right. uh, so we have a, a 2020 Beta 300 uh, Race Edition. Um, I've already installed my aftermarket parts on my bike. Uh, and ridden it, as you can see, it is dirty for a whole 15 minutes. Still has some other stuff to do, but Zach's bike, look at that thing, that thing has even, oh. it went in my truck and then in a trailer and then to New York. Um, but what I got on here is some ARC folding clutch and brake levers. So these are nice when you're running flag guards so that when you fall, they hopefully don't bend as much. Uh, so I put those on right away. I removed the the blinker and high low beam cluster that sits right here. Uh, that's pretty easy. Just two little wires, you can unhook it, and you can pop that thing right off. You're not gonna have this on for your hard neural races? I feel races. like I will break it very quickly. So well, I, I know, but you know, you, you someone's coming at you, flash your high beams. Yeah, yeah, just, just. There you go. Did, did you have to do a full removal of the blinker fluid reservoir? I yeah, I had to take that off too. That, like, that's what weighs the most. Yeah. You know? Blinker fluid reservoir? I didn't drain it. Yeah. yeah. Part. That stuff's dangerous. You don't want to get it on your hands. You don't. It'll melt your skin. Um, going down from there, we got some bulletproof radiator guards on here, which are pretty sweet. Uh, it didn't stop this. What is that? Oh, oh, it's oh, a pine needle. Oh. Uh, on the back side, installed a, a baited radiator fan. Oh, it's on the left side. That's and interesting. You got that all hooked up. So that thing's all up in there. Don't mind my electrical tape job. I just wanted to semi-seal it for uh, the moment, so I did that. Uh, going down to the TM Designs chain guide, or guard, or clutch slave guard. Jury's out on how I like this or not. I don't like it immediately because it doesn't protect the carb at all. And if your chain whips well, up, dude. it's gonna destroy your carb. But that's, I've never had a chain break, and I've never had that happen. So we're gonna- You better knock on wood. <laughs> you better knock on wood. Your head, your head, your head. The whole barn's built out of wood. There you go. <laughs> so that's my only that's my only fear at the moment. Um, Enduro Engineering skip plate. This is not the extreme version. This is the standard version. It goes way up in the front. It also has a, a linkage guard. Oh, it's way up there. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's nice. It's a nice. It's and it nice. comes back. Oh, it's got the flap for yeah, the linkage. Yeah, it's got the flap for the linkage. We have um, some Polysport uh, swing arm guards here. And they're not really guards. They're just like little plastic protectors. 
Uh, I have them like KTM, and I found they do a they do a heck of a job sliding off rocks, especially at tough like roar. Especially at tough like roar, you your but this bike will never look the same at tough like roar, which would be very sad. Uh, and then another bulletproof uh, swing arm uh, guard, which really just protects the tabs for your your um, chain guide here. They ask you to drill and tap your swing arm to mount this. I've never done it on any bike I've owned, and I've never had a break or do anything bad, so I don't do it. Better not come for it. <laughs> 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 All right, what's next? On the other side of the bike, so we have a, a used Kenda tire, Kenda Ibex, with a, uh, oh, will that last? Yeah, 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 that's a trade secret, dude. You can't, we'll bleep that. We're gonna bleep that. Oh, we have another Enduro Engineering shark fin guard down there. Um, that's pretty much that. I'm trying to think what else is on this bike. Other than that, it's just got a lot of cool bling parts from uh, the race edition spec. So you get a lot of cool anodized parts, as well as uh, billet aluminum foot pegs, and I would like to add a snake um, a brake snake on here. I think those actually help quite a bit from protecting uh, your brake lever from being bent out of whack from hitting stuff uh, quite often. So I think that's a good thing to do. And other than that, yeah, I haven't done anything. I ordered some fork um, lug protectors. Those are coming in, and I ordered a pipe guard because I completely spiced space a pipe guard. Yeah. Well, that happens. So. So one thing, you know, next thing is going to be revalving. That's yep. big deal. Getting the it's suspension. Kickstarts. Kick oh, it is a. Feature you can add on. Can. We have talked about it, but I don't anticipate any issues with the electric start. We'll be giving updates, I guess, throughout the season yeah, on absolutely. what we find. You know, we might make some modifications. You might might make some adjustments. Like yeah, we're doing a beta only ride tomorrow, so uh, Adam, you're gonna have to probably sit it out. Yeah, yeah you're gonna have to go to that KTM group. I want to give a special thanks to Bartorms Off Road in Whitehall, New York, for supplying us with these super sweet betas and going above and beyond with all the graphics through Melo Designs. Uh, we want to thank Tyler. He uh, he killed the graphics on pretty much the first try, which I mean I never been able to do myself. So it's got the squids on it too. It's got the squids. You know I think that uh, we'll see that through the year numerous times when I'm moving my bike out in front of people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. But it's cool to try a new brand. I'm pretty excited. I don't know about Zach, but I'm excited. Oh, I'm excited. Hey bud, pants are a little tighter than they were last summer. So you're saying your pants shrunk? Yeah, I like it better than that. <laughs> Alright, let's go for a ride. We're gonna watch Tom ride his new beta. Man, he's looking fresh. This is gonna sound like a pretty stupid excuse, but I decided to wait on riding the beta. It is not really rideable out there at the current moment. Oh. Oh no. Hey Thomas, why don't you put the gas on there, dude? You know? What happened? I, I forgot to turn the gas on. <laughs> what? What happened? I fell over. You fell over? I came over that the other side and I didn't make it. Just went out. That was the first crash in beta. That was that was lame. We all good? We bend anything? Bent anything? As you can see, the fields are incredibly muddy. The trails are muddy. Trees are down. Yeah. The trail, trail. There's some work to be done. There's really nowhere to rip a bike right now. It's terrible, to be honest. I I've been down this path and it sucks when you can't really ride anywhere. He still hasn't taken it. This has been down all winter. Come on. Oh, what the heck? Does this guy even cut trail? What a dingle. Hey, I've had a broken foot all winter. <laughs> when you went over that log, you preloaded the clutch, and the clump of dirt came and hit me directly in the nuts. It was like target fixated on my best thing in my life. Jesus. I kind of knew that was going to happen. So we are working on getting the trails cleared out at this very moment. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. A Adam's bike has Corona. What happened? Holy oh, crap. It, it came off the... It came out of the rim lock. Tighten? That's not even tight. Yeah, I don't think Adam even tightened the rim lock. It's no, it's I can see a gap. Dude, I'm farting so much, I feel like I might be shitting myself. You're farting so much? I'm farting quite a bit. You can ride it back to the house. Oh baby, oh baby. Ooh, nice and responsive. 
40 minutes later, Tom just can't get this thing started. I literally have to start the bike for Tom. This is a really sad moment. All right, here you are, honey. Hey, very difficult in knee braces. Yes! Hold the clutch in. After playing a game of Twister with the dirt bikes, I it? finally yes, I right. get on the beta, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. This thing's got some pork, 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 torque, torque. Whoa! It's so slick! Wow. So here's my like 10 minute, 15, oh, we'll give it 15 minutes of like first impressions. I can't tell a single thing over like my KTM. What do you mean you can't well, tell? Like, you know, like when you ride someone else's bike, you can generally be like, oh, well, you know, this would be different. I would change this, you know, power comes on like this. Other than the fact this is a 300, it's a dirt bike, man. It feels I, like a KTM? Yeah, it feels exactly the same, which, you know, is maybe a good thing for people or a bad thing for people, but I mean, also, I've been, eating, I've been eating goldfish all winter and only went on one dirt bike trip and rode in the snow twice. So I haven't ridden a lot. But with that impression, jumping on this, I honestly can't tell the difference. It, it's a dirt bike, feels good, nothing weird. I have to adjust the idle. I was a little it's, high. It, um, it's pipey. You, do you think so? Yeah. So Gary said that he put the power belt flush said if we wanted to probably tune I, it in. To I'd it. say the thing's a little more, It's. I think it's because it doesn't have the Electron on. Pipier than pipey. your 300? Well, this thing is yeah. Tight. Adam, that's what I said, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> that Electron takes away that two-stroke feel. Yeah, but it's got really good lug ability. Like, I've never owned a 300 before. Yeah, no, it lugs good. It pulls. After fixing Adam's rim lock, we go back out and get to this hill that really is not where you want to be on a new bike. Oh yeah. oh yeah! Wait a second, this is not right. What's not right? This? Why? Where do you go down? Do you remember this? Wait, this is this? Yeah. I don't want to go down. Well, it's too late now. Move up! Ew. Woohoo! Oh yeah! <laughs> Nicely done. Man, I really hate that stupid downhill. Tom, buddy, let's see what the beta can do. I hate this. This is terrible. I hate this thing. I truly, truly dislike this hill. Don't look at the tree. Look at where you want to go. I'm about to go back up. Don't use your brakes until about here and steer it through. I mean, it's you've done it. You've done it a bunch of times. Well, God, no, shit. I wasn't planning to go do this. I was planning to just ride it around, break it in. Oh man, I'm kind of scared now. I mean, you're getting me, you're getting me worked up while just watching this. Either way, I make it to the bottom. Beyond common sense. Very much dislike, big fear. I wonder if it's a heights thing. I don't like heights, but I've gotten over that for a lot of things. But for like dirt biking, it's just not, this is not, I don't like this, this is really bad. I'm getting kind of hungry. We'll come back. We'll come back in a half hour. You'll still be here. <laughs> well, I'm at the point where I have to commit. There's not a chance. There's no more creeping forward. Why couldn't you make this go straight? Like why? Like why did you make it turn on off camber? My fingers are frozen solid. This is very terrible. This is stupid and dumb. I, I do not like this. I hate this stupid hill. <sighs> Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do it. If I can get out of here. Ah, oh, hell. This is going to turn into a show. Beyond belief. Unfortunately, with that 45 minute hang up, that's all the battery power we had. And that's all we've got for now. There's a lot more to come, so stay tuned. The only thing I want to add is that Racing this season is up in the air with the coronavirus. 
keep your heads up. You know, we'll get through this. But one thing, be careful. If you're going out riding right now, the last place you want to end up is in the hospital. So be careful. We'll get through this. See you on the next episode. Thank you.